today. I, uh, in a minute I'll tell you why that's so important to me anyway, but first I want to tell you, first I looked at a beautiful home in Saint jo in Mandarin actually, a small family home in the Mandarin area, uh, priced in the low 200s, beautiful, beautiful home and I don't think it will last, so if you're looking for something like that you better hurry. Now I am in Nocatee in the Addison Park community looking at a home. Uh, it's a resale home, they're still building here, but it's a resale home, it's a beautiful home. I'm going to show you if you're not familiar with the Addison Park part of Nocatee, here's a quick look. Sorry about that, still working on this. What it looks like, you can see there's construction going on down there, but the homes are just beautiful. They all have front porches. They're beautiful pastel hues. Um, the home that I just previewed is priced a little over $400,000. It is a four bedroom and an office. Um, it's a great home and a great community within walking distance of lots of, of the community amenities. Anyway, back to me. Um, previewing homes, I think that that's one of the most important things I can and do do as a realtor. Uh, and I block time every single week to do it. Here's why. Uh, you know, obviously it helps me as I work with buyers. I sit with buyers and, and talk about what they're looking for for a home. and. Um, very often I'll say, oh, I saw a home like that, let's go take a look, or, you know, I can tell them that that doesn't exist or does exist, and it helps me stay up to date on the inventory, but equally as important as using that information when working with buyers, and maybe even more important, in my opinion, is working with sellers. How can I competently recommend a price for your home to sell your home, a price range, if I don't know what's on the market, if I haven't actually gone and looked at the homes. And of course, like everybody else, I can look in the MLS or I can use Zillow or TruliaRealtor.com, but there's nothing that replaces actually being in that home. You can look at the um, condition of the home, which doesn't show on the online sites. You can look at the finishes in the home, the location. Does it back up to a busy highway? Uh, do you hear airplane, airport traffic behind it? Um, has it been well maintained? What do, you know, are the air vents clean? If you, a lot of people don't realize, I think, how often when, pe when I am working with buyers that look at homes, they look up at the air returns and see if they're dusty and that if they are, that's a sign that perhaps the maintenance hasn't been kept up on on the house. They're not changing their filters. So it's great to get information online, but until you have actually been into houses, I don't think you know the real story. So in any event, every single week I go preview homes. I do resale homes, and I try to, particularly St. John's County is growing so quickly. In St. John's, I try to visit at least one or two communities a week, meet with the site agent, see what their inventory is, um, look at their models if they have them, talk about what's coming, what they'll be doing soon, when they're going to release new lots. There is so much to learn in this area. I would love to chat with you more, love to take you on a tour with me. Oh, which by the way is something else I do a lot of times with sellers. Every seller has a price in mind of what their home